What's up guys, my name is Mars, welcome back to another video and today here back to the last two Arno challenge and today we're going to drive with the F2 cars um, as Luca Giotto in the campos. If you haven't watched the last two Arno challenge that I posted yesterday, it was uh, with the F1 cars as Antonio Giovanazzi on the Alfa Romeo, so I highly recommend to go check it out, links are going to be in the description and if you could show your support on the channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you need to see more weekly Formula 1 content, it really motivates me to make more and if you do so, I would be very thankful you really really helps me out um, to, um, for me and for the growth of the channel so let's focus on today's challenge like I said we're going to drive um, the campus of Luca Giotto in a 50% distance race of a feature race so we have 15 laps ahead of us and let's see how many positions we can gain um, during that race so it's going to be a little bit tricky because for me it's a little bit more harder to overtake and today we're going to tr uh, try something different you're going to see when we reach the grid so I think I said um, everything so let's go down to the track and let's see what what we can do in this Italian Grand Prix. So here we are on the track guys and here's the plan what we're going to do in this race. We're going to make the same thing what Nick the Freeze uh, made. We're going to the alternate strategy. The strategy is a soft uh, medium strategy, super soft medium strategy but we're going to switch that and we're going to start on the mediums and then finish the race on the super soft. So the closing stages are going to be absolutely qualifying laps but I think this can really pay off but uh, the start, the early stages of the race um, uh, are going to be very very tough because uh, in theory um, the medium tires are like one second slower than the super soft so we have to make sure that we gain some positions and um, during the first laps when everyone is bunched up so here we go ready to the start of the race through the Italian Grand Prix five red lights for the Italian Grand Prix and the way we go and it was a pretty terrible start but let's see um, how well, many positions we can gain heading into turn one so we are still P20 but let's see we're going um, to make it out on the inside so there you go Alessio Randy um, also ma made so but we're going to do on uh, Mark Love that is uh, ahead of us and we gain for now a full position we run a little bit wide Kate can putting the elbows out and really squeeze us and he gets the position so um, fair play um, he really go got the elbows out very very aggressive it's good to see from the AI and uh, we only gain three positions but to gain position with these Formula 2 cars is more harder but we're going to dive down on the inside of Jack Aitken and we did the move on the ART and now next up is Artem Makhlov but let's see because remember we have the medium tires they are one second slower than the super soft and as you can see in terms of traction between me and the eight can the traction difference is is immense and uh, we are vulnerable to the ART but we're going to just close the door adding to Ascari and now we are um, in the beginning of lap 2 chasing down uh, this huge train that is, uh, where the red light is at a mark we're going to stick on the outside and try to make some but, but then we think a bit of that and we're going on the inside through the chicane but uh, Makalov we're going to squeeze really to the grass and uh, uh, maybe he didn't see me it was on purpose uh, but that was very aggressive from Makalov and uh, but he gains the position um, on Lorandi so we are on the slipstream of Alessio Lorandi let's try something on the, sh the second chicken we are a little bit far but we are uh, actually confident remember that the soft super soft tires of this are going to wear out we are drifting through the chicane but we made the move and that's us into P15 let's see the replay and uh, to show the replay because we were drifting through the um, the Variante de la Roccia and uh, there you go that's us into P15 drifting the um, the Campos car uh, to what matters is that uh, um, made a move yes um, but uh, we are going purple on lap 5 so we skip into lap 5 because nothing happened we actually managed the gap of this train in front because they were fighting so hard so it really helped us out but uh, in lap 5 uh, um, the, su the super soft runners and we are um, the only ones on medium so just bear in mind that are making their own stops and you look at this huge train um, making the stops the Prima car and then uh, and the Damsk, the Russian time car and they absolutely cluster on the pits look everyone is getting bunched up and this is going to help us out especially um, if, the, if the front runners uh, in the first positions are getting held up because um, this is absolutely bonkers now I'm showing my POV to see a lot of people pitting and we're going to be promoted for now into P8 and uh, yeah it was a, an absolute confusion and down on a pit lane and uh, by lap 6 the next lap we're going to be in the lead of this uh, Italian Grand Prix so now um, is the most important phase of the race that is make consistent lap fast laps uh, while these guys are bunched up on the pits held up on pits and then uh, uh, they are going to fight in so hard even with a fresh set 
uh, more fresh a set than, than mine, um, they are going to lose time. So that's my plan for this race. And uh, as you can see, a lot of people because um, um, in terms of strategy, there's not much to play. It's just, um, it's just to uh, um, uh, inverse strategy uh, like uh, I'm doing instead of super soft mediums. I'm doing super soft medium, super soft in the pit window. Um, um, we can't abuse of the pit window. I think uh, we have a space of two laps or something like that to to work. You know, but look at this train. Looks like a qualifying of Formula Three of this weekend. This is absolutely and uh, one of the Trident cars gets absolutely punted by. by the dams of uh, Nicholas Latifi, but we have a virtual safety car because of a Lorandi that is out of the race. So uh, maybe of that of that contact, I don't know. But uh, there there goes the Trident, and he's out, uh, he's out of this Italian Grand Prix packs um, if before the Variante della Roggia, and uh, it's one more and uh, one runner left. And now by lap 10, we're going to make a mandatory pit stop. And now um, this is where it comes plays. Um, the alternate strategy because look on the minimap, look at the gap. So uh, I believe we're going to be on the points, and we can you, we can do much better than that. Maybe a top five or something like that. We'll see. But uh, here we go, changing for the brand new set of super soft tires, and now these laps are going to be absolutely qualifying laps, blasting um, every single lap, and you get uh, um, the best use of these red striped tires. So here we go, adding to the. Um, to the pits, there's the leaders of the race. Uh, I think uh, who's leading is Lando Norris, and there we go. Uh, turn off the pit limiter, and at the moment we are in B5, so we can do better than B5 because uh, the front pack is not that far. Can we win this race? But uh, there's a prima of uh, Antonio Fuoco, I believe. I'm not entirely sure, um, but uh, he's be in another prima. He's being pressurized by um, the Harden. But uh, here we go, B5, and uh, this is very good. So. Um, we are the only one on super softs and uh, we are really pushing very hard and on lap uh, um, 12 we set the fastest lap so we have the pace um, to um, from these guys but this is uh, Lando Norris he actually has an engine problem and there goes set a camera on the inside he's going to lock up and they, they are all bunched up as well from George Russell and this is going to help us out and we're going to gain a, huge, a, lo a heap amount of time on the Ascari and now we are in the slipstream of George Russell, the, the former F2 champion on the real life. And here we go. We're going to try to dive down on the inside, adding to the power belt, not just on the on Russell and uh, as well on Norris that uh, has an engine problem something like that and now we are on the slipstream of Sergio Sete Camera to be in P2 so the podium is guaranteed this strategy is working a treat and here we go side by side through the start finish straight heading to the first chicane this is absolutely amazing we're going to shut the door even before the the breaking zone and that's us promoted into P uh, P2, geez, I was forgetting the, for forgetting the position, but there you go, P2, and actually we can catch the freeze, bang, another fast lap, 1.30, uh, 1.4, and the freeze is in the 33, so we can actually win this race, this is the last lap, we are pushing so hard, heading to the variante de la Roger. we stepped the, the gravel trap, and uh, yeah, like I said, we are in the rest range, we are pushing like hell, because I really want to win this race, and here we go, really attacking the Ascari, touching the gearbox of Nick the Freeze, really on the inside, we hit the car, we lost a little bit of momentum, but we are on the slipstream, let's try to make a move on the on the Parabolica, maybe on the start scene, finish try to prepare our exit, but we're going on the slipstream, he's a little bit far, but the freeze locks up a little bit. But we couldn't, we didn't have anywhere to go. So let's try to make, uh, try to have a good exit on the Parabolica. But unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. This is very close, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Oh my god, what a race. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. A great win then for the Prima team today. And I have to wonder, Davide Valsecchi, just what set them apart from the competition here? I think this race was won thanks to the tire management. You have to remember, it's not just about going as fast as you can. It's about consistency. It's about maintaining your speed over an entire race distance. So being able to keep the lap time competitive while still respecting the tires, that's where they won today. It looks like it's time for the victory ceremony once again, as I can see the drivers beginning to make their way out for the celebrations. You can see it on their faces. It's another marvellous team win for Prema today.
it's a fact, Monza never disappoints us in terms of excitement. Look at the gap between me and Nick the Freeze, one tenth of a second, and uh, this uh, strategy really paid off. Look at the difference on the fast stop, so we had clearly the pace. This is the best strategy. Like, we were in P15, and then we uh, were very close to win the race, so it was a very good last two. I don't know, challenge the alternate strategy once again at Monza really worked. It worked for Nick the Freeze in the real life, so, and he w w was working even better for us because we were very close to win this race, but that was the video guys thank you so much for watching like i said leave a like if you enjoy scratch and have new team of formula one content it really motivates me to make more i'm going to finish the video here so it's time to say goodbye my name is smash and i'll see you guys for a brand new video next time now enjoy the highlights of this amazing race but for now it's goodbye